Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, my name is Father Benedict Mackenzie. I'm a, a priest with the Friars of St. Francis, a little Franciscan community in the Diocese of Parramatta. On this 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh, the splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating, so the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty. Without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You visit the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. God's on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest and thus you provide for the earth you drench its furrows you level its off knit with showers you bless its growth the 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I think that what we suffer in this life can never be compared to the glory, as yet unrevealed, which is waiting for us. The whole creation is eagerly waiting for God to reveal his sons. It was not for any fault on the part of creation that it was made unable to attain its purpose. It was made so by God. But creation still retains the hope of being freed, like us, from its slavery to decadence, to enjoy the same freedom and glory as the children of God. From the beginning till now, the entire creation, as we know, has been groaning in one great act of giving birth. And not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit, we too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus left the house and sat by the lakeside. But such crowds gathered round him that he got into a boat and sat there. The people all stood on the beach, and he told them many things in parables. He said, Imagine a sower going out to sow. As he sowed, some seeds fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Others fell on patches of rock where they found little soil and sprang up straight away, because there was no depth of earth. But as soon as the sun came up, they were scorched, and not having any roots, they withered away. Others fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Others fell on rich soil and produced their crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Notice that amongst the options outlined in this parable, our Lord doesn't say, imagine a sower who kept all his seeds in his pocket. Whoever this sower is, he was made to sow seeds, and he can't avoid it, he just does it. Some people think they can avoid conflict and tension in life by not taking sides or by not committing themselves to serious choices, especially when it comes to God or actually living out the gospel, or proclaiming it to others. But there's no option for not committing ourselves or avoiding taking sides, because by choosing not to choose, we're already choosing, and we bear the responsibility and consequences of that non-commitment. 
We're always sowing seeds, whether with our witness or with our influence. We can't help it. No, Jesus' parable of the seed and the sower is more a matter of advanced tips for when we set out to spread the word. It's advice that we'll encounter more resistance in more subtle ways than we might be prepared for. And we should plan accordingly for those whom we're trying to feed with God's love, wisdom, and grace. In the extended version of this gospel, Jesus goes on to make explicit to his apostles what these dangers are. Firstly, hearing God's word without understanding. That leads to quick forgetting of his message. We need, dear friends, to find someone who can explain it properly to ourselves or to the confused loved ones we are trying to strengthen. Secondly, impatient over enthusiasm with God's word that doesn't allow enough time for the life of grace to settle deeply enough into our heart to attach, to build substance and hard-won virtue into our lives. No substance means no strength of resistance to very real pressures and persecutions that are guaranteed to test our loyalty to Jesus. As St. Augustine says, we need to grow not only in our doing good, but we need to grow in our ability to endure evil. And so will all our spiritual children to whom we hand on the gospel. Third, mature Christians can still be seduced or intimidated away from following the word of God by our three spiritual enemies. The peer pressure of the fallen world around us, our own inner broken attraction to sin, and the cunning strategies, pressure and tactics of a spiritual enemy who sees more deeply than humans do and wants us not to do God's will more vehemently than any human does. No, rich soil needs to be cultivated. It needs to be cut deep, to have nutrients patiently mixed in deep as well, even after the seeds have been sown in there. Understanding God speak to us additionally requires grace and prayer. And getting to heaven as a disciple also requires follow-through, living a moral life, loving one's neighbour, and sharing God's message unto 30 60, even a hundredfold of the grace that we ourselves have received. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, please stand and let us profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. God's providence is for all. Let us turn to God, leaving no soil untilled, and bring the needs of the world before him. That by its example, the Church will sow the word of God among all peoples. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who work to sow the seeds of justice will be met with acceptance, not resistance. Hear us, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those in our Mass for You at Home community will always be receptive to the Gospel and share generously with what we have received from God. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will dwell in the presence of God. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, sower of the seed, your word transforms all who have ears to hear. Hear these prayers, and may your word in us yield a fruitful harvest. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is your health and salvation. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace, peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I'm worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Thou dost my very God conceive, my Jesus, dearest treasure here. I love thee and adoring me. Each Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, proclaiming the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Father Mark De Batista. I want to thank you for your support. Without your help, we cannot keep this ministry going. If I may be of assistance to any of you, feel free to reach out to me. May God bless you.